Dylan, I gotta ask you, so now that we've seen Colton destroy you in Smash Brothers, it, wow. it, I mean, wow. it, 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 is he just the king? He's the captain? He's the He is the seasoned rep on the offensive line, and now he's the king of Smash Brothers? What's going on here? I mean, Cap, he's just, he's well-rounded in a lot of things, so, I mean, on the field, off the field, video games, <laughs> he, he tries to do everything at a high level, so. Oh, yeah. It's, 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 you know, it's, it's, Different every day, you know. We, we go back and forth, you know. See, you're so humble. You're not going to just uh, look at theirs yeah. like I'm no, staying. No, but I, I mean, Dill, Dill has been good, but lately, not been the case. By the way, Thayer, can I get it go green for this weekend? I ain't doing that. Really? So you're not going to root for the Spartans I'm, taking on I'm, Michigan? I'm, I'm all for them being Michigan, but I am I'm not saying that shit. Oh, wow. <laughs> but you notice he's, no, no, he just said, I'm rooting for him this weekend. At least I got him to admit that. Hmm. All right. On a serious note, you are one of the rare young players who comes in, you're a starter on day one, and have gotten better every single year. You can't control being injured. How are you feeling right now? Um, I'm just trying to do everything to get back out there with my teammates and my brothers. Obviously, uh, we want to continue to build that unity throughout the entire offensive line and uh, continue to stack weeks. But it's exciting to see Jordan uh, get an opportunity to play some really good football. And I'm excited to see what he does this week. Because you are the rare young player who comes in from day one and plays so well, what are you saying to a lot of these young guys to help coach them up? Um, just trying to help them learn how to be the most consistent they can be as early as possible. So for me, um, I had a little bit of things going on between switching positions and right. not really knowing where, okay, I may come in at center this year and then being moved to left and right, not really having no stability. So I would say for them just trying to find their niche, like what it is that they're good at, and then honing that as early as possible. Because there's going to be a lot of things that all of us need to work on. Nobody, no, There's no player that's really perfect on this game and there's going to be players that get beat I mean that's that's the name of the game and so I uh, just find out what it is that you really uh, use really well right now uh, and then honing that to the best of your ability it's no secret there's no fan or no player that wanted to start two and five but one of the things that I have been impressed with in this locker room is it's no it's not finger pointing it's guys just going to work is that part of maybe teaching young guys about being a professional is you got to come to work and work your hardest every day whether you're two and five or five and two you're that way Absolutely. you're mr steady eddie is that part of how you help a young guy develop 100 percent. i mean it's the nfl it's the league and so there may be a lot of times where you know you may have down periods but you can't really let that fluctuate your game and how it is that you're trying to prepare because you can't prepare any differently as if you are, let's say, undefeated right now. You know, you have to do the same things, and that's what helps players become the best that they can be uh, in the long run. Awesome. Thank you.